Hi kids, this is Pastor Miguel. It is so great to be with you today and share God's word during this season. By the way, talking about season, does anybody know in which season are we now? Hmm. Yes, you got it. We are in winter, the coldest season of the year. Do you notice that the days are shorter and there is less amount of sunlight during the day? Ah, oh, that is the reason because this is the season of winter. But in the church, during this time of the year, we celebrate another type of season and we call it Advent. That's not a very usual word, right? Does anybody know what this season is about? Hmm. I'm not sure if you know, but let me tell you a little bit of this season. In simple words, Advent means arrival, and it also means coming. It is a season of expectation and hope where believers across the world spend four weeks before Christmas preparing for the day of beauty and light. Can you guess what is that day? Yes, we prepare for Christmas. We prepare for the remembrance of the coming of Jesus Christ as a baby. You remember, right? The manger and the shepherds and all that. Yes, this is a time of preparation. Well, during this season of Advent, Pastor Miguel has been preaching every Sunday about four special wor words. They are hope, peace, joy, and love. Do you remember that? Hope, peace, joy, and love. And today, I would like to share with you a little bit about the world, the word peace. So let me tell you something about this word. Did you know that when I was a kid, I was always afraid. I was always afraid of the dark. At the end of the day, when it was the time to turn out the lights and go to bed, I wanted to know that I was not alone in the darkness. That is where my teddy bear or some of my staff animals were with me. And today I brought a friend. His name is Wolfie. He's not mine, he's Franny's. But Wolfie, as my staff animals, were always with me when I was afraid. And Wolfie came to me to rescue all my other stuffed animals. Somehow, the darkness was not so frightening with them in the bed with me. I felt completely in peace. I'm sure that you experienced the same, right? When you are with your favorite teddy bear or with Wolfie, my friend today, have you ever been afraid? Of course, you have. We are all afraid at times. It is nothing to be ashamed of. Even adults are sometimes afraid. I am an adult now and I am afraid too sometimes of many things. Some of us may be afraid of the dark. Some may be afraid of thunder and lighting that comes with a storm. Here are just few of the things that people are, are afraid of. For example, bugs and bees and snakes and hides and dentists and doctors and dogs and cats and mice and germs. And you can add many others to that list. But you know what? what? One day Jesus went with his disciples, his friends, and they were very afraid. And Jesus told them the following words. 
He said, peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. I give to you not as the world gives. Don't be troubled or afraid. Beautiful words, right? Beautiful words that Jesus said to his disciples. So Jesus knew that his disciples were afraid. And he offered these word, world, words to comfort them. I'm leaving you with a gift. And that gift, gift is called peace. So don't be troubled. Don't be afraid. And this is one of the things that we have to keep in our minds. These words were a great comfort to his disciples. And they are a great comfort to us today, especially when we have to stay at home because of this coronavirus, right? But you know, it's wonderful because today we can also pray and remember the wonderful gift that Jesus has given us. Peace of mind, peace of heart. We no longer have anything to fear. So let me pray for you this morning as we finish this wonderful moment together. So let us remember in our prayers that God is always bringing us peace and he brought us peace through Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, which means God with us. Let us pray. Hey, Wolfie, pray with me. Bow your head. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for the Holy Spirit who guides us and calms our fears. Thank you for bringing Jesus, who is the peace of our lives. We pray all of these. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Prince of Peace. Amen.